Hi, I'm Pam Azuka Prebeg. I'm a personal trainer, athletic therapist, and fitness writer. Today I'm going to show you the three exercises everybody should be doing. Think of them as the dream team. They'll help keep your body strong and healthy. Okay? So you're going to come lie down on your back and we're going to start with the glute bridge. You place your feet flat on the ground. You want them underneath your knees. You don't want them out too far or too far in. Just underneath your knees. Your hands are going to go flat on the ground beside you. What you're going to do is you're going to squeeze your glutes and you're going to lift your hips up. And you're going to come back down. Really squeezing those glutes together, that's the key to this exercise. If you have any discomfort in your low back, just don't come up as high, but your aim is to get your hips in line with your knees and your shoulders. Come back down. This will help strengthen all those deep muscles protecting your back and strengthen those glutes for you as well. And if this is easy, you can always do the one leg version where you cross one leg over and lift up. Now when you do this, make sure that you're not dropping your hip like that. You want to make sure those hips stay level. And I'll show you on the other side. You're going to squeeze and lift, really getting that glute to fire. Squeeze and up. And I'll show you one more. And up. Good. Next, we're gonna flip onto our stomach and we're gonna do the prone cobra. This is a great exercise for your posture and just stretching everything out in the front and tightening everything up in the back. So you're gonna come down onto your stomach. Hands go flat on the ground, thumbs pointed out. And what you do is you're just gonna lift your chest up off the ground, reach your fingers towards your toes, squeezing your shoulder blades together and reaching your thumb towards the sky. And you're gonna come back down and up. Make sure you squeeze those glutes to protect your low back and down. You wanna to try to keep your chin in. You don't wanna crank your neck back. You just wanna keep a nice neutral position. And you're gonna do two sets of 10. And up, really squeezing those glutes, reaching to your toes, thumbs up. And up, squeezing those shoulder blades together and down, really lengthening your neck here. And last one. Reach, reach, reach. Long neck, butt squeezed, and come back down. And from here, we're gonna go onto your side. We're going to do a side plank. You're going to place your elbow right underneath your shoulder here. Your forearm's going to be flat. You can either place your hand flat or fist, whatever is more comfortable. You're going to stack your hips, your knees and your ankle. My knees are bent. And from here, I'm going to lift my hips up and forward. So I'm lifting up and pushing forward. I'm squeezing my glutes. Everything's contracting through my side. And this is a great exercise because it connects Everything, your shoulder girdle, your obliques, your abs, your butt, your spine, everything's working together. And we'll come up. And you wanna try to keep your neck in line with your spine. You don't wanna crank it up this way or drop it too low. Good, we'll do one more. And up, pushing forward. You wanna hold this for about five seconds at the top. Come down and we'll switch sides. So again, my elbow's right underneath my shoulder, forearm's on the ground. My hips, my knees, and my ankles are stacked. Hand on my hip. I'm gonna lift my hips up and push them forward. Squeezing my glutes, neck in neutral, and come back down. And we'll do it again. Good. And for an added bonus when you're up here, if you want, you can do a leg lift down and adding that leg lift will work that glute meat a little bit more for you which is your hip and up holding it there lifting and when you're up here you want to make sure that you're not tilting your hips so I'm not leaning my hips forward or dropping the back they're being pushed straight forward good we'll do one more and up and forward 
and the leg lift. Good. And if you do these exercises four to five times a week, you'll be healthy, happy, and pain-free in no time.